Absolutely. The passing of Nelson Mandela is causing the world to reflect on the life of an iconic freedom fighter, Mandela passing away at the age of 95, uh, the first president of a democratic South Africa. He spent about three decades, just shy of that, in prison fighting for freedom. So many firsts. Don Ray is here this morning uh, to talk about Nelson Mandela's legacy. Don is a professor in African politics from the University of Calgary. And Don, you were just telling me that you actually lived for a short while in South Africa under apartheid. Yes, that's right. I, I, uh, I and my family were, uh, went to South Africa to be in circus there. And we, we traveled all around uh, South Africa, uh, other parts of Southern Africa, for something like uh, two, and a, two and a half years. Uh, so I had some time living under apartheid. And it was the fact that I observed apartheid. And I was wondering when I was a kid, why is it that a, a kid can order around adults? Yeah. And the answer is because of racism, because yeah. of the color of my skin, the color of their skin. And so even as a kid of, you know, five, six, I began to question what was, what was going on there. And that led me into a lifelong study of the politics of Africa and to become active in the struggle against apartheid here in Calgary. Excellent. Okay. And, and Nelson Mandela, um, I, I guess talk about Nelson Mandela and what he meant to you as a person who was kind of joining his battle. Well, he was very much a symbol of hope. Uh, okay. and, and he remains a symbol of hope to people around the world that oppression and exploitation can be ended. And I'll always think of him in those terms. And I think that's what appealed to many Canadians when, you know, when we look at uh, Nelson Mandela and people around the world. I mean, when I was in Ghana one time, all of a sudden I was at a restaurant and all of a sudden a song, Free Nelson Mandela, came over the uh, uh, sound system sure. there. And I thought, here we are in West Africa and this is just extraordinary. And so he represented everyone's struggle for a better life, for dignity. He had a, a vision uh, of what life could be, and he had a, a vision that in, included uh, restoring dignity to every person. And that was the extraordinary thing about him in South Africa. Even those in the oppressive apartheid system who met him came to realize that he was a very extraordinary individual and that maybe he had something to say and he began to change people's minds. It's interesting that he was elected the first black president of South Africa and then he steps down after one term. I've often wondered that. I mean, what's your take on that? I thought he might have stayed for a couple of terms. <clears throat> Do you think he was stepping aside saying, it's time for someone else to kind of, you know, take up my cause or? I think he was. Yeah. I, I think that he wanted to set an example uh, that everyone knew that he could have easily had a second term as president. No question he about could, that. He could have passed away as president, I think, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah. You know, so uh, I mean, but the point is he wanted to set an, an example for leaders all over Africa and around the world to say, do make your contribution and then it's time to step aside yes. and let the people choose somebody else. And that was what he lived and fought for. Do you think that's his legacy? Kind of I that think message so. right there? Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 I do. Yeah, I, I think the, uh, you know, the legacy of democracy, of the struggle against oppression uh, and exploitation, giving hope to people. Mm -hmm. It's the giving hope, knowing, showing that change is possible, that is so valuable a legacy that he leaves us. There you go, giving hope, Nelson Mandela. Thank you, Don. Don Ray's professor, specializing in African politics at the University of Calgary. Thank you uh, for coming in this morning and uh, sharing your time with us. You're very welcome.